Every Monster Hunter offers hundreds of hours of gameplay. With all that content, there have to be some Easter eggs and references to hunt down, right? Hi, I'm Crystal Marie with the Leaderboard, and I'm here to uncover some of the coolest Easter eggs and references in Monster Hunter World. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to become part of the Notification Squad. Cliff Etchings The lore for most of the Monster Hunter series has been rather minimal. World is one of the first in the series to feature an in-depth main story with cinematic cutscenes. It seems like Capcom is slowly expanding the world of Monster Hunter with in-game lore and clues, much like how the Dark Souls series built up its lore. In the ancient forest map near Zone 3 and towards the coast, you'll find a cliff with mysterious etchings underneath. These caveman-like drawings represent some of the monsters you'll find in the game. One drawing appears to be Rathalos, aka the King of the Skies, who has been in Monster Hunter since the first game and is arguably one of the most iconic monsters in the entire series. Having this etching in the ancient forest cements his legendary status among hunters. Another drawing on the cliff highlights a monster that's new to the series, the Anjanath. While he's not the toughest monster in the ancient forest, there is no doubt that he is a sight to behold. Look forward to seeing the T-Rex-esque brute wyvern and his cave portrait. The last drawing is a simple but cute sketch of some tents, a hunter, and their trusty palico. In the drawing, the hunter is waving with their palico at a campsite, wishing others well on their next adventures. Poogie the Pig As you're wandering around Astera, you may come across a cute pig in a green sweater named Poogie. Newcomers may just see him as a cute pig, but veterans of the series know that Poogie the Pig is a legend. Poogie was the first pet that was available to hunters. He's appeared in every game since the first Monster Hunter game came out in 2004. In some games, it was even possible to ride him. And he's no slouch on the battlefield. Unfortunately, you can't ride Poogie or keep him as a pet in World, but in traditional Monster Hunter fashion, you can befriend him. In World, it's as easy as hitting a button right when his exclamation point pops up. This will allow you to pet the legendary Poogie and become his best friend. However, if you miss the time Poogie will get upset and push you down. Once you befriend Poogie, you can pet him some more, dress him up in different outfits, and even carry him around. While it's never been proven or confirmed by Capcom, Monster Hunter diehards have always believed that holding on to Poogie before crafting for a rare item will give the player extra luck. While it may not be entirely true, it never hurts to hug a cute pig. Rotten Vale and Dalamadur Beware, spoilers ahead. While wandering around the Rotten Vale, you've probably thought, gosh, this zone sure is cool, but it's kinda creepy walking around inside a giant skeleton. Also, I'm scared. Don't worry, you're not alone. But have you ever wondered where those bones that surround the Rotten Vale come from? It's actually the skeleton of the flagship Elder Dragon Dalamadur from Monster Hunter 4. You can see its distinctive giant skull and spine when you jump off from the first campsite in the Rotten Vale. If that's not enough proof, at the end of the quest for defeating the Autogaron, Elder Hunter who helped you out will mention that the Rotten Vale is where dragons come to die and that's the reason why Zora Magdaros is heading there. However, she also noted that the Coral Highlands the area resting above the Rotten Vale, was created from an elder dragon. While the whole point of world was for it to be set in an entirely new area, a lot of this proves that the Dalamadur inhabited this area before in Monster Hunter 4 and laid here to die, which in turn created the Coral Highlands. Not only that, but Reddit user Huntsman Iyer noted that Area 10 of the Coral Highlands resembles the exact arena where the Dalamadur was defeated in Monster Hunter 4. So it's not even that the Dalamadur fled somewhere to die, but it's it's very much possible that the Coral Highlands was the arena for the Dalamadur and it ended up dying here after its defeat to create an entirely new map. If all of this is true, then that makes the Coral Highlands and Rotten Vale that much more impressive and a bit depressing as well. Fans have begun to speculate that the Dalamadur might make a reappearance in World, but it's highly unlikely that that is the case. Ace Cadet Everyone's favorite new member of the Ace Hunters, the Ace Cadet, might actually be in World. In the intro to World, a young hunter approaches you and tells you that he's a bit nervous to start off in this new world. He also notes that he's an A-list hunter, just like you. And he also looks nearly identical to the Ace Cadet from Monster Hunter 4. While he's not given a proper name in World, the resemblance is uncanny. The character in World appears to use the Ace Cadet sword and shield weapon set, the only visual difference being their attire. The Ace Cadet wears a clothy armor 
mix, while the unnamed A-list Hunter sports a bit of a chainmail armor. Monster Hunter 4 didn't have any type of voice acting, so it's hard to compare if they even sound similar. However, when it comes down to how they act and look, it's hard to shut down theories that they very well might be the same person. Mega Man We mentioned it in our Getting Started guide, but it's basically cemented in video game history that Palicos are the cutest companions ever. But hey, say you're someone who just doesn't love adorable kittens who are also deadly hunters. Maybe you want something completely out of place but still adorable. Well, Capcom has you covered. As a promotional quest, it's possible to dress up your Palico as an 8-bit Mega Man. Yes, it's as cool as it sounds, and yes, it looks completely out of place in world. Does anyone care? Absolutely not. It's not just a simple armor pack for your Palico, though. Your Palico becomes Mega Man, gaining its own unique animations and combat mechanics. The Switch also lets you play to some of the best chiptune music in the world. Depending on the weapon you're using, the music will change between AA track originally from Mega Man to Mega Man 5, which makes hunting monsters a total blast, or should I say bust, like the Mega Buster. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I got excited. Street Fighter V, Ryu and Sakura. So let's say that Mega Man isn't up your alley exactly. That's totally fine. Capcom has always loved to incorporate a lot of their franchises into the Monster Hunter series. In late January, it was announced that it would be possible to play at both Ryu and Sakura from Street Fighter V. They are cosmetic skins and are unlocked via a unique quest within the game. PS4 players who have a Street Fighter V save file on their system have first dibs on the quest to unlock the skins while everyone else, Xbox One users included, will have to wait a little while. The quest brings more than just a pair of skins. Capcom added in unique poses and gestures as well so you can Hadouken and Shoryuken it up. Granted, it's a bit silly to see Street Fighter characters using giant lances and bows, but it's still pretty neat regardless. It makes sense for the crossover to happen since some Monster Hunter DLC showed up in Street Fighter V as well. Additionally, Palico armor themed after Street Fighter characters has been available as DLC in previous Street Fighter games. For example, Chun-Li and Blanca themed armors were available in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. The poses are free DLC for the game, while the gestures are paid DLC. It's never fun to have to buy add-ons for a game, but these gestures appear to be worth it if you want to commit to being a true street fighter in a... A streetless monster hunter game. There's no confirmation if the monster you hunt down for the quest is Guile's hair or not, but we can only hope. Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn has been praised by so many. I mean, what's not to love about hunting down giant robot dinosaurs? One of the big standouts in Horizon was the main protagonist, Aloy. She had a lot of heart and it was easy to feel connected to her in that dystopian world. If only you could play as her in a monster hunter game. Oh, wait a second. Sony and Capcom decided to actually put her in World. As an exclusive to PS4 owners, Capcom has DLC for World that gives players a cosmetic overlay to look just like Aloy. Regardless if your hunter is a male or female, they will take on the look of Aloy entirely. It works just like the Street Fighter skins. Wearing the Aloy cosmetic doesn't change your armor stats at all, but rather serves as a skin more than anything else. If that isn't cool enough, your Palico also gets a skin as well. They take on the form of a tiny watcher from Horizon. In Horizon, they'll try to hunt you down and beat you up, but they're just so dang cute in world, it's not fair. To get the armor, you'll have to complete part two of the two lessons of the Wild Quest, which requires being Hunter Rank 5. The quest is also timed and set to expire on February 8th, 2018. The Lessons of the Wild only unlocks the items needed to craft the armor for your Palico, while a separate quest will be issued at a later date to unlock the Aloy armor set. Sadly, the quest does not have you hunting down any type of Horizon Zero Dawn monsters, but it's still a neat set to have regardless. Hopes for returning Monster Hunter crossovers Monster Hunter 4 featured a large variety of crossovers. World is still pretty new, so here are some things we hope hope to see making a comeback. First of all, the Monster Hunter X One Piece crossover from Monster Hunter 4 would be fantastic to see make a return. The crossover allowed you to obtain the weapons of One Piece main characters Luffy, Zoro, Nami, and Usopp. It also came with a skin of One Piece's iconic reindeer surgeon Chopper for your Palico. We'd also love to see the unique look collaboration come back in World. The Monster Hunter 4 rendition of this collaboration rewarded a set of heat tech unique look clothing complete with jeans and a down jacket as well as a great sword with the puny word monk 
Monclo name engraved on it. The fashion forward choices don't end there. Your Palico got a Monclo t-shirt and hammer as well. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention Monster Hunter 4's Legend of Zelda crossover. The crossover allowed players to don Link's signature dark green duds as well as a chance to obtain Link's signature weapon, the Master Sword. The Hylian Shield is there too. While it's unlikely that non-Nintendo consoles could ever get this content, there's some hope given all the third-party things they've been involved with as of late. And there you have it! Once again, I'm Crystal Marie, and these are some of the coolest easter eggs and references we've seen in Monster Hunter World thus far. Have you found any that we missed? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad, and if you like getting more from your games, subscribe to the leaderboard, your home for video game facts.